folks in the house. How's everybody doing on a Friday? I got some bourbon blues streaming on YouTube. Enjoying that. I am drinking 1792 bourbon. Um, very smooth bourbon. It's kind of dangerous. Uh, so, cheers to everybody. Happy Friday. It's a little too smooth for a bourbon, I think. I mean, it's that point. See if I get uh, copyrighted for that, for playing that too long. See what happens. And uh, so I'm going to be all over the place. I'm uh, going to talk uh, some shopping, some movies, some politics, some sports. So uh, I am going to start with shopping, since I started with the 1792. Is So the other night... Ah, Grabbed a pizza from Aldi's, and uh, I recommend it. It uh, surprised me because I remember when uh, Stuffed Crust Pizza first came out. I don't remember if it was Little Caesars or Domino's. I was not impressed. And for what this was for six ninety nine, um, it it did the job. Uh, and also a pound and fifteen ounces. So it, it, it'll hold you uh, for two people. It'll fill you up. And then uh, recommend the nice sour cream and uh, sour cream and onion uh, potato chip flavor. Uh, not a bad uh, first time I had them and they ended up being decent. So that is shopping. And on to sports, UWM. Uh, UWM baseball's 23-29. Uh, I was looking at the stat, and they played 18 home games, but they played 34 road games. That's going to be hard uh, to uh, be, have a successful season. If you do, I mean, you deserve. Uh, so the only way they're doing anything is if they win the Horizon League title uh, to get to the tournament. Um, anything can kind of happen. Um, with this team, uh, like I say, it's just, that's 34 to 8, that's 16 more road games. Um, that's just crazy. UWM basketball, I was a little concerned because they didn't have really a big man. Well, they're getting a, a Bazon Fields, 6'10". Uh, he's transferring from Old Dominion. And uh, I really think uh, if... He even is like a six man type person that playing wise is uh he's he's the show, I mean, for UWM. They don't have anybody six ten. So it's up to him really. I hope they do get somebody else to bring in, but uh he really can show himself in the horizon league. Um Amon Rand, who uh graduated, um he ended up being in the NCAA uh, slam dunk contest and nobody really talked about that really. So there's some publicity there for UWM, not, uh, not much as it, you, you would hope for, but it's out there. And uh, again, um, hopefully it's a player that'll help uh, the team next year. And uh, movie talk, I'm gonna get my list here. Got a few, I'm trying to get caught up. I'm, I'm kind of running behind and uh, not doing videos, and I'm about to sneeze, and I apologize. Got allergies. Oh, my. Hmm. See how this is going to go. <laughs> Holding back a sneeze. Um, Rainfall, 2009, a former special, special Forces agent against CIA trying to find a flash drive that has corrupt government uh, information on it. Gary Oldman's in this movie. And if you're a person that's not sure about subtitled movies, this movie is half subtitle and half uh, in English. So if you ever want to dabble, this possibly could be a movie to uh, look into just to see if you'd be comfortable watching subtitled movies. I am finding some stuff out there for uh, some movies that I want to dabble in, but there, <laughs> there are like two hour movies and subtitle for me. It's like I've kind of, that two hours just a, a rough, you know, it's like that extra 20 minutes or something. But I am going to start trying to get back into some subtitle movies because 
There's some stuff out there that's pretty crazy. Happy Friday to everybody. And thanks to my uh, users and subscribers for watching. Appreciate that. Uh, next movie, Danger Zone, 1996. This got a 4.4. Billy Zane and Robert Downey Jr. And I don't know if I gave the rainfall was 4.6. And I think I'd give that a 5. Uh, decent action movie. Um, I think there's a good story there. So the 4.6, I think, is a little low. I don't know if it's because of the subtitle, maybe. But I'll give it a 5. Um, Danger Zone, 4.4. I do feel that's about right. Uh, kind of an Indiana Jones movie dealing with toxic waste in Africa. Billy Zane gets blamed for uh, his taxes dump years and kind of ends up getting drawn back into Africa. And so, uh, again, like a, a cheap version of Indiana Jones, I, I kind of give it. A uh, comedy I have is The Sitter, uh, Jonah Hill. 2011. This guy got 5.6. Uh, he basically is a young adult that really doesn't have nothing going for him. And he uh, end up uh, babysitting three kids that are very unique. And uh, it, it does a decent job for comedy and um, with the kids and him being the babysitter. A uh, lot of running around and stuff. Um, I think a modern day version of Adventure of Babysitting. Why do I feel like I did talk about this movie? And I did. Sorry about that. I got to repeat. <laughs> just saw it. I was like, you know what? Once I just realized it. So I apologize for that. So I would say that's probably about yeah, maybe 10 to 12 videos ago that I reviewed this movie. So... Uh, next movie, 2021 Redstone, um, Neil McDonough, Hugh, um, 4.9. An assassin is hired by uh, the mob to find a kid that witnessed a murder, and also the kid has something that they're looking for. Um, I think it's 4.95. It, it works. It's got a, a decent. And now I get the 4.6 for rainfall, it's like, yeah, I Kind of put this a little above Redstone, I would think. And my last movie, White House uh, Down, 2013. This is my, I guess, primary movie, prime movie, mainstream. Uh, Channing Tatum and Jamie Foxx, uh, basically an action movie dealing with uh, the White House uh, being taken over. Uh, got a 6.3. I'll give it that uh, for uh, viewing-wise. Um let you know is I have done 412 videos, which I did not know. I kind of was looking at some numbers. It's like, yeah, I've been doing this for five years. So I got live videos. Um, the live videos never really, I, I do the taped uh, download um, my videos because it seems like the live videos, I don't get much viewing. And how it is, is if somebody watches it live and then you post it, those live videos don't count. I don't know how that works. So I do the uploads. And the last thing is I am just going to put out a, a video for politics. Uh, I'm going to show a forum that I came across for 2023, the Libertarian Party, uh, where they have four candidates and they have a question and answer kind of scenario um, compared to the debates. Republicans and Democrats where they mudsling and just seem professional. And it's like, you guys are kind of, are you doing this wrong? But the thing is, they're doing it right. Only reason I'm doing this is you don't, you, you have more than two choices. Uh, and people have to start realizing that. Instead of it's like what the mainstream media shoves down your throat, Republican or Democrat, you get that one person. And if they say the primaries count, it's like after the fourth primary, fourth state, fifth state, uh, all the candidates drop out. It's like, that's something that I think for me, if you're going to run in a primary, you should have to at least run half, 25 states. You have to be halfway. Then you can decide to drop out or not. But I think they don't want 
deal with the conventions, the Republican and Democratic conventions, not what it used to if you, the conventions are, you're supposed to be fighting for your candidate. They don't do that. And I kind of wish, people I think have gotten to sit on the couch and that's that. And you're supposed to be talking about stuff. And so that's why I'm going to, so I'm not saying vote libertarian. I'm just saying that there's options. And the reason I do that back in 2012, I want to say there's a poll out there. And you can say I'm wrong or not, but I think it was 80% of people wanted another choice. Mainstream media bit on that for a little back then, and it could be 2008, but around that time, is mainstream media is not going to even give a third party a chance. Um, so it's like, you know what? I, I got, you know, a couple of viewers. What the heck? I'll talk about it. Um, let you know, hey, it's you. <laughs> so I just want to let people know that there are options and talk about it now instead of, you know, next year. And then it's like, do it now. So that's what we'll do. I appreciate all the viewers. Um, sometimes I go a little off topic a little bit. Um, but uh, that's where we're at. And uh, wow, my video uh, has covered quite a bit in my time. So thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.